Surat Sessions Court dismissed Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's plea for a stay on his conviction in the 2019 criminal defamation case for his Modi surname remark. Rejecting his plea, the court told the Surat court told Rahul Gandhi that being an MP, he should have been more careful. The court's verdict means that Rahul Gandhi's uh, attempt to get his disqualification as an MP reversed will have to now wait and appeal to the High Court. It's our top story. Back to back legal setbacks for Rahul Gandhi. First, a lower court declared the Congress leader guilty of defamation of his Modi Chor remark, which led to his disqualification from Lok Sabha. And now the Surat Session Court has dismissed his plea for stay, which means his conviction and two year sentence remains. The court in its ruling said that the conditions for stay were not met by Rahul Gandhi. The court said that Rahul should have been more careful as his words can cause mental agony. The court also said that losing membership of parliament is not an irreparable loss. Rahul's legal team will now move the Gujarat High Court for relief. Senior advocate R.S. Chima appearing for Rahul Gandhi in his arguments had said that the decision of the civil court is perverse, that it creates a irretrievable and irreparable damage to Rahul Gandhi and that this order could not have been passed because Rahul Gandhi never got a fair trial. All of these arguments have been dismissed by the uh, Sessions Court at Surat, which has gone threadbare into the entire trial and looked at all aspects. The legal team of Gujarat BJP MLA, Purnish Modi, who had filed the defamation case, claiming insult to all with Modi's surname, hailed the verdict. Appellant, convict, has failed to establish any rare of rare case or the exceptional circumstances. Court has also taken into consideration the judgment of the Supreme Court which were advanced by us as well as the judgment of the Honorable Gujarat High Court. They should be treated at par with all the citizens of India. The verdict as expected has sparked a political showdown. This is a, I would say, slap on the face of the arrogance of the Gandhi family. This is the ghamand of Gandhi Parivar. Ka. और खास करके जो गांधी परिवार ये सोचती है कि हम कुछ भी कर लेंगे और हमारा कुछ नहीं बिगड़ेगा आज सूरत के एपिलिएट कोर्ट से ये सिद्ध होता है कि कानून सबके लिए बराबर का है दिस वॉज नॉट डेथ ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज अ ब्लो ऑन द एरोगेंस ऑफ द गांधी फैमिली ये लोकतंत्र समाप्त नहीं हुआ है ये जो घमंड है गांधी परिवार का और खास करके राहुल गांधी का उसके ऊपर एक बहुत बड़ा आघात है कोर्ट के माध्यम से वॉइस ऑफ राहुल गांधी इज नॉट टू बी साइलेंस्ड इन द मैनर द बीजेपी थिंक्स इट कैन डू द बीजेपी हैज बीन इन अ सेंस फ्रॉम मिस्टर मोदी डाउनवर्ड टू द गवर्नमेंट टू द रूलिंग पार्टी कैप्चर्ड इन ए फियर साइकोस इफ आई मे से सो दे हैव अनलिस्ड लैक्स ऑफ ट्रोल्स एंड ट्रोलर्स अगेंस्ट राहुल गांधी they sometimes threaten you with privilege notices sometimes it's suspension but they do not know the stuff rahul gandhi is made of they do not know the resilience of the congress rahul gandhi could be looking at a long legal battle ahead his first aim will be to get a stay on the conviction which will enable him to get his parliament membership back unless he gets the stay rahul gandhi will not be able to contest the 2024 lok sabha elections With Anisha Mathur and Saurav Aktania from Surat Bureau Report, India Today.